I'm assistant uh, baseball coach here at the University of Kentucky, Keith Vorhoff. We are here at beautiful Cliff Hagen Stadium, uh, the home of the Kentucky Wildcats. We're joined here with red shirt sophomore Michael Thomas. Michael is a catcher in our program, has done an excellent job with us here. Uh, and we are going to go over some of the things today that we teach uh, our catchers in regards to blocking the baseball. Okay, first off, uh, anytime there's a situation with a runner on base, less than two strikes, uh, Michael's going to find himself self in an active stance, a stance which allows him to move and block and keep the baseball in front. Go ahead and show them at home that active stance. You can see here his feet are a little wider, his butt is up, and he is ready to move, whether it be straight down to his right, to his left. If it's a situation to throw, he can do that as well, but for today we're going to talk about blocking. The first ball we're going to talk about is when we're blocking and it's in the middle of our body. Uh, we're talking about the ball right in here. We want to get straight to the ground as quick as possible. Now there are a couple ways to do this. The first one, okay, Michael would be in the active stance here. You can push those feet back and have the knees come down. Uh, the one drawback to that is when we are blocking a ball, usually the ball is going to be from here on out. So we're looking at blocking anything from here forward. Okay, so if he kicks his feet back, go ahead and show him at home. If he kicks his feet back and this ball bounces from right here, he's a long way away from that hop. And it makes controlling the hop, uh, controlling the ball very difficult. So what we like to do here at uh, Kentucky is we like to teach our guys to work towards the ball. He can almost catch this pitch right here. So anything he's blocking is from here out. Okay, so if he has a ball in the dirt right here, just out of his range to catch, he pushes towards the ball which helps him cut down the angle on that hop. So now, if it takes a little bit of bounce here, he's still gonna be able to control that ball. Now, you'll notice here, he's got that five hole, that hole between his legs covered with the glove. He's got his forearms out of the way, that way the ball can hit that soft chest protector. Um, from a safety standpoint, we don't want him getting hit here too much, but also from a purposeful standpoint, from a technique standpoint. If the ball hits your forearm, we don't know where that ball is going to bounce. So we want it to hit him in this area right here. So this is the spot that we want to have uh, inviting to the baseball because it's going to allow him to control that rebound. Most catchers, when they block to their right, that is their dominant side. And the reason being is most of these guys are used to working off of their left leg. Their left leg, more times than not, in their stance is a position of strength because uh, a lot of times when they go for extension on a pitch, they'll go off of that left leg because it's their arm side. Very rarely do guys work off of their right leg. So it's easier to block to their right because they're used to leading or working off of that foot. So when we talk about going to the right, that's usually uh, the majority of catchers out there strong side. Okay, so when we have to move laterally to our right, whether it's small or big, what we're going to do here is he's going to actually lead with his opposite leg. So this left leg is working to the ground first. Once that hits the ground, he's going to pivot off of that leg and square up into a position to block. How much you move obviously is determined by the ball and where the ball is going. Perfect. Now notice one thing when he's in this position, he's kind of in an angle here. And what that allows him to do is it allows him to cut this ball off and put it back towards the middle. So we're going to show Michael in kind of slow motion here what it looks like when we go to our left. Notice that, that right leg, the back, the uh, opposite leg is what leads him to move in the left direction. Okay, and then he's going to pivot off of that right leg. He's going to square up just like he did when he went to his right. Uh, Michael Thomas did a fantastic job demonstrating those blocks here. You should come on out to Cliff Hagen Stadium uh, this weekend. Possibly see Michael and the other guys out here. And uh, we look forward to uh, having you out here down the road.